WHT Local Lifestyles continues. So much has been discovered about the spectrum of autism, but there's so much more to learn. Kate Ledbetter is a registered behavior tech of Harsha Autism Center, and she is here with office manager Emily Thomas to show us a project. Welcome to Lifestyles, ladies. Thank you. Thank so you. nice to have you. Well, tell me about your program about Harsha. Sure. So we work with children who are on the autism spectrum. Um, specifically, we provide therapy that's applied behavioral analysis, or ABA, and it targets specific behaviors to either improve them or decrease them um, to make it more appropriate for the child. Well, I've noticed in your information that you use the word NET. What does that stand for and, and how do you use it? Well, I'll let Kate talk about right, that. Kate, that goes along with the project. Tell us about NET. All right. NET is, stands for Natural Environment Teaching. And it, that is simply just embedding learning opportunities into everyday activities with the focus on the child's interests and their initiations throughout the day. So is this a project that is before us now that you've used with some kids? Yeah, I use NET all the time. Crafting is such a really great opportunity. It creates a relaxed, calm, soothing environment for them with physical rewarding results for them. Well, like, walk us through this project here because it certainly is colorful. Yeah, so I really like this project because the sky is the limit on the targets that you can use to help your child learn. Um, I started with painting just a simple rainbow. If your child can sit through a painting session, you can do it with them. Um, a lot of my clients don't really like to sit through something that would take this long, so maybe just have this ready for them. I also cut out um, some preferred items and this is really important because I used 80% um, preferred items and items that I know that my client could tact to identify so that they feel successful and feel like they are, you know, smart and they can do the things that I'm asking them to do. And then I have two targets that they might be struggling with, like safety signs or food items that I want them to identify throughout their daily life. We're really trying to generalize these um, skills into their daily life. So when you show the target and the maybe the tomato, how is how can those be issues for kids on the autism spectrum? Well, healthy eating, and we want them to be able to have a um, a healthy lifestyle, um, a successful lifestyle, so that they can um, be independent in eating um, healthy foods for themselves someday. And safety signs are good for everybody to know. You know, even we go through driving school, and it's it's. Uh, no, never too early to promote safety for kids. For grown-ups and for kids. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> so is true. this the end result of this project? Yeah, so wow. I, you just keep on, you know, using the 80 to 20 percent over and over again until you've, you know, made a beautiful collage of all the things that they may prefer, whether it's dinosaurs or princesses, superheroes. And then there are things in there like sight words, numbers, just matching the color and following directions are good targets for them to use too. What I love about this is the simplicity of it. I mean, this is a piece of cardboard yeah. on the back that you cut out of a box somewhere. Yeah. So you don't have to have a lot of expensive yeah. items, do you? You really, sh you really shouldn't have to um, go out and buy a lot of things to use net. It's mm -hmm. every day all the time by anyone that you can do. You might realize, you know, once you see this, that you're actually doing it already. That you just maybe a focus on that 80% of the easies, knowing that they know that, make them feel successful, and then the 20% focus on those hard, hard objects that they are trying to identify. You succeed at this, it'll be easier to go to that next level. Yep. Yes. All right, Emily, tell everybody where you are and how they can reach out to you. Sure. We're at 1900 Stringtown Road. Um, our phone number is 812-490-2826. We are currently enrolling. Um, so anyone who has questions or would just like to get a hold of us and see more of what we do, I encourage them to get a hold of us. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Emily. Now I'm going to go home and make a rainbow. <laughs> we'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this. Stay with us. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Harsha Autism Center.